Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be reviewing The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes, which was amazing. I really love Jojo Moyes. I've read a few books from her, starting with Me Before You. Me Before You is probably the most well-known one, and to be honest, it's amazing. So if you haven't read any of Jojo Moyes' books, I would recommend actually starting with this one. It did come uh, with two follow-on, which I think are Me After You and Still Me, which are, I think after something that good, a tiny bit disappointing, but still very enjoyable. I've also read uh, the OnePlus one, which for some reason I think is a bit less well-known, but it's still amazing, so definitely recommend uh, reading it. So, so um, The Giver of Stars is a bit different from the previous books that she wrote in that it's set in 1937, whilst the other books were more contemporary. So it's set in Kentucky, in a little town called Baileyville, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Imagine mountains, beautiful um, places. And we follow the lives of a couple of women in particular. So the main protagonist is called Alice. She comes from the UK. She marries a, you know, a very charming American fellow and ends up moving in Kentucky, um, you know, to live with him. She ends up living with him, but also with her father-in-law, which, you know, is not the best guy ever. So that part doesn't go very well. So the whole book is around uh, the Pack Horse Library, which was an initiative put in place by Eleanor Roosevelt that was aiming to get books and education to the most remote, rural, remote areas. And so um, the way it was you know, operationalized was that you would have some women on a horse uh, that would bring books to um, people in the mountains, etc. And so Alice ends up volunteering to be part of the Pack Horse Library and support, you know, this initiative. That's where she met Marjorie. Uh, Marjorie is this strong, independent woman. And throughout the whole book, you see this um, relationship with Alice sort of build and evolve over time, which is just lovely. So the book mostly is about Alice and Marjorie, about the challenges that they're facing as women in Kentucky at the time. Um, we see their evolution in terms of their own personality, but also the evolution of the friendship that they're, you know, building between them. So what did I think about the book? I loved it and I would highly recommend it. It's super enjoyable and i have to say after three months of lockdown in the uk it was just <laughs> the best thing ever it was what i needed to sort of escape and think about something else georgia Moyes, in particular is really really good at building characters and at looking at relationships and you know bringing a bit of romance into her books and that's you know the case for the giver of stars as well it's just lovely but in The Giver of Stars, there are also a couple of, you know, additional themes around racism, around obviously women empowerment is a, is a really big theme, um, but also around the difficulty of a mining town in the 1930s and the inequality that was rampant at the time. So you have a bit of drama in the background, which basically allows the story to sort of um, get that relationship, uh, that friendship going. I love the fact that the characters are so personable. You really empathize with them. They're not those sort of like amazing super women. They're just really lovely, normal women who end up, you know, rising against adver adversity. I would have liked to get a bit more of um, the three other librarians, the three other women. You sort of get to know them. You don't get to really care. You don't, you don't get to really care as much about them as you do for the two main protagonists, which in a way is fine, right? It doesn't ruin the experience, but I just wanted a tiny bit more out of that. And I have to say, the men in particular were not very nuanced compared to the main characters. And so you have, you know, the evil father-in-law who's 
just evil. He, he, he's just a bitter old man. Uh, that's it. And then the others, you know, it's just like, oh, here's the good guy. Here is this guy. They're they're tiny bit cliche. Um, and I have to say, I don't want to give any spoiler, but the end I was a tiny bit rolling my eyes. It's what can I say? The the basically the whole story is sort of nuanced and interesting and towards the end it's just like, like a tiny bit cliche but you know it just leaves you in such a good mood um so overall it was captivating it was you know hot warming it was sometimes you know a bit emotional um but overall extremely enjoyable so i would highly recommend it if you have already read the book let me know what you think uh, it'll be lovely to start a conversation with you. Bye-bye.